Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back to the Fuka and Desco Show. In the last episode, Axel showed us his determination to keep Fuka and Desco together at any cost. And Desco thinks she has figured out why Fuka wants to reincarnate so badly. At least I think that's the question that was being asked. I wasn't entirely paying attention. But, uh, let's find the answer. Demon Hunk Troop? What? Here we are. Lady Tordesco is... Very final boss like Desco. I'm impressed. I, I didn't backstab you. Well, let me explain. There's a reason for this that involves deep love. You were just starting to restore your rep, and you had to go and blow it with that statement. Well, what do you expect from Axel? Listen, Torn Desco. This is the end of your scheme. We have come here to put an end to your big sis Loveland plan and your revisions for the pretty law. You're just a lonely pretty instructor. This is between Desco and Big Sis. Go mind your own business. Then let me speak as Big Sis. I'm gonna reincarnate. Period. <laughs> Will you keep insisting on that after you see this, Big Sis? Come on out! Anti-Big Sis final weapon! Demon Hunt Troop! What? Demon Hunt Troop? How completely unexpected! This is bad! <laughs> they are the most handsome demons! Selected from the entire netherworld, Big Sis won't stand a chance against these hunks. Dragons. <laughs> what now? Do you sense the evil machismo oozing from these hunky demons? Dragons. <laughs> I did not know Fuka had a thing for dragons. Big Sis is at just that age. How could they not make Big Sis's heart throb? Oh no, my heart isn't throbbing at all. Oh, okay, never mind. So we know Desco has a thing for dragons. <laughs> it seems to me like these demons just aren't Fuka's type. Okay then, Desco will gather a hundred hunks that Big Sis will love. That should solve everything, right, Big Sis? No matter how many hunks you gather, I'm not staying in the Netherworld. What's the matter? Why not? The flower pasture, desserts, hunks, they're all yours here! You really gonna choose to throw them all away just to reincarnate? Why don't you get it? Why do you still want to reincarnate? You're being so selfish! She's 
said a bad word. That I was stupid. The one who's stupid isn't Big Sis, it's Desco for being so selfish. Desco is being selfish? What are you talking about? All Desco thinks about is Big Sis. Just listen to me, you're completely wrong. Desco doesn't get it. Desco doesn't understand what you're talking about. doesn't care anymore. Desco has no choice but to defeat Big Sis and force her to change her mind. Big Sis, this is how much Desco cares for you. Final mode, on! Desco engine, engage! All conditions are go! Big Sis, brace yourself. Desco understands everything you're saying and where you're coming from. Well, after theatrics like that, I think there is only one way this could possibly end. Dispatching! This is the end! Final Fusion approved! These guys can help with it too. Torn Desco. Please stop her from going crazy. Stay on this panel. We'll let Desco deal with Dark Blow. She doesn't understand anything Big Sis is saying! 
that's not true. If you care about things just as much as Dasko does, then you should understand. <laughs> what do you mean? Listen, everything you've been doing seems like it was all for Big Sis, but it was really all just for yourself. Because she doesn't want Fuka to leave. You don't want Big Sis to reincarnate. You don't want Big Sis to forget you. Those were all Dasko's selfish desires. Building Big Sis Loveland won't make Big Sis happy if it's not what she wants. You wanted to use Big Sis Loveland as a cage to keep Big Sis here forever. No! Oh! So, Desko was only getting in the way of Big Sis's chance to have a new life? Reincarnation is relieving for the soul. A cage is too nice a word to describe preventing the soul from reincarnating. It's an eternal hell. Desko didn't know she was doing such a thing to Big Sis. I know that the flower pasture, sweets, and hunks were all for me. But no matter what you're willing to do for me, I'm not going to stay in the netherworld. Why not? Because... Because this place lacks the most important element for a girl. A love life. Seriously? Why don't you just ask him he's on a date or something? <laughs> then again, he'd probably say no. Only demons and prinnies live in the netherworld. I couldn't possibly feel attracted to either of them. A love life is the source of a girl's energy. Honestly, I'm running out of energy. Fuka. She's trying to hide it, but I can tell that this is hard on her too. But at least she realizes that she can't keep doing this. Hmm. A love life, huh? I guess I'm not that surprised. <laughs> it's the stupidest reason, but if that's what it takes to get you out of here, then whatever. Oh. Dasko's selfishness almost ruined Big Sis's special love life. Yes, but Desko thought she was doing everything for Big Sis. Desko failed as a little sister. If Desko really cares about Big Sis, she should support her reincarnation. It's the right thing to do. Even if it means Big Sis will forget everything about Desko. <laughs> Don't be silly, Desko. You think I'll forget about you after having my soul purified? You're my precious baby sister. No, Big Sis. Well, don't be silly yourself. Your memory will be completely wiped clean after you reincarnate. Way to ruin the mood, Amizel. Yep, that's the rule of the universe. There are no exceptions. You hear that, lass? Hurry up and go rest in peace already. <laughs> Whatever the rule is, it doesn't matter to us sisters. No matter what happens, I'm not going to forget Desko. I'm not going to forget Desko, my precious sister who cares so much about me. Big Sis! Why are you so confident about your nonsensical reasoning? Why, you ask? Because I'm Fuka Kazamatsuri! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are quite the entertainer. Well, you might actually make it happen. You've always forced exceptions for yourself, even as a prinny. Desko, you have to believe me. See, Bowsy approves too. No matter what happens, our sisterhood is unbreakable. It'll last forever. Big sis, Desko believes in you. The love between Big Sis and Desko is eternal. Big Sis, Desko loves you! D Desko merged back into one! Yes! Desko's torn heart has mended back into one! 
Desco will never be confused ever again. Please call Desco. Perfect Desco. I'm so happy for you, Desco. Yep, all is settled and now everyone is happy. Where did you even come from, Flan? Lady Archangel, how long have you been here? Miss Desco, accepting a goodbye from a person you love is one form of love. Miss Fuka, I have hereby witnessed your strong determination and love for your sister. That's all for now. Farewell, everyone. Well, at least Flan is satisfied. I Whatever guess. Was, what was the I point of that? Desco up a Desco feels courageous, even though she is a final boss. Alright, Desco has decided, as a final boss and little sister, to support Big Sis's reincarnation. Desco is gonna take over Earth. <laughs> okay then. To be continued. What? There's another. There's another chapter. My name is Desco. Earth is in danger because of Desco. Desco decides to take over Earth to support Fuka's reincarnation as both a tribute and a farewell gift. Inspired by Desco's determination, other forces rise to support Fuka. And I shall bring despair to every human being on Earth! Well, I better not fall behind then! I'll start out by sending them a massive amount of natural sardines! Uh, please stop! Don't fight for me! Fuka's heart spins from confusion, like a child stuck inside a revolving door. Then Axel, the dark hero, appears to commit further attacks on Fuka's bewildered mind. I don't want you to forget me. Everything about me. Because I love... Oh, Sir Axel! With each of their thoughts on board, the Wheel of Destiny begins to spin for their new future. Where will Fuka and Desko's sisterhood end up tomorrow? What answer will be spun? Look forward to next time on Afternoon of Love and Hate, The Secret of Sisterhood. Final episode, Soul Encounter. Big Sis, it's too late to stop anything now. Hmm, and that's that, folks. Thanks for watching. So wait, where exactly are we going with this? Actually, that might have been a mistake saving there. To support Fuka's reincarnation, Desco decides to take over Earth. What is her real objective? As a little sister, Desco wants Big Sis to reincarnate. So, Desco is gonna take over Earth! Well, that's wonderful, but how did that inspire you to take over Earth? I just don't see the connections here. I do. Desco, before your sister's final moments, you want to make her dream come true. It's rather touching. But it's such a wicked dream. Big Sis's dream will come true if Desco takes over Earth, and then it'll be easier to find her after she reincarnates. What are you talking about? How will taking over Earth make it easier for you to find your sister? The Desco Intelligence Network! <laughs> <laughs> it's simple. If there are less humans around, there will Wait, be more to search through. Ah, oh, I see. It's a violent solution, but you are right. I have underestimated you. Okay. Mass destruction, courtesy of Desco. Thanks, Desco. You're making me super happy. And <laughs> she's okay with that. I feel much more comfortable about reincarnating on a world ruled by you. 
This is just all kinds of shit. What a favor to ask. A favor? I really want to take over the world with you. And here I thought you were trying to pay off your sins to reincarnate. Something's wrong here. I think you're going off on a tangent. Don't you get it, Artina? I want to take over the world with Desco because I'm going to reincarnate. That way, I can make that my last memory as a resident of the Netherworld. How long exactly does the Red Moon last? I feel like this is going to end with a punchline that the Red Moon went away while we were taking over to Earth. Dominating the world to make a memory? Sucks to be an Earthling. Ah, <laughs> splendid. I can't wait to see those humans' faces when they discover the cause of their crisis. Desco, now is the time to demonstrate everything you've learned so far. Let us accompany you. As your comrades, we shall witness you accomplish this dream. We? Are you including me in that too? Naturally! Naturally! Tina, you share in our camaraderie! We will conquer the world together! I'm glad to know you feel that way about me, but I am an angel after all. Alright, let's do this! We're gonna wreak some havoc! Oh, Lady Archangel, please forgive me for going with the flow and lending my aid in dominating the world. <laughs> Human world ruler Nemo has joined the party. What? Weapon forte. None. Interesting. Very interesting, but I think we are going to have to wait to see until next time for us to uh, begin taking over the world. <laughs> I hope to see you, I, I hope to see you guys then. It's a thing.